Hey, Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, I tell you, look where I am. I'm at my office. I'm back in town. That's right. Psychic Bob is in residence. I had a really nice treat. You know, I, I came up uh, from my mom's on the train this morning, came right into the office because I have a full day of readings. Uh, but I had to show you what they gave me when I got here. Uh, Car Workplaces, which is the management company that, that manages my office, is they put out a newsletter for the whole Washington, D.C. area, and I was featured in the newsletter. Isn't that wonderful? And they wrote an article about me. So I've been enjoying They They made this for me and laminated it. It's really nice. I have a permanent copy. And it's all over the office today. It looks really great. It's pinned up in the break room and around. So I, I'm really excited. I want to give a big shout out to Shamila, who uh, interviewed me and, and put together such a such a wonderful article for the newsletter. You rock. Thank you so much. It's such a it's such a great time here. I love being part of CAR and having my office here. Well, you know, what else do I love? I love doing psychic work. And here we are, and it's Tuesday. And you know what that means? Time for messages from the spirit world. But before we get into that, I want to just first of all give a big shout out and say thank you. Thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had horoscopes. And I covered all 12 zodiac signs. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, check that out. And you can get your own horoscope. That's the right well, here we are. It's time for messages from the spirit world. And for those of you who are new, by the way, welcome to all the newbies. Thanks for being part of our channel. Uh, you know, make sure to like this video, favorite it, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. You know, a lot of you people watch me, but they don't subscribe. Go ahead and hit subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to have a little channel and you'll get all the updates. And I hit the bell as well. But you know, what I do every week is I grab a bunch of letters from people and I do little mini psychic readings. And uh, we have a lot of fun with this. And you know, if you want to write to me, all you got to do is put your question, your psyche question, in the box below this video in the comments section, or you can write to me at my email, which the link will also be below it, readings at robert-hickman.com. So I want to say thank you for your support for this program. Uh, now, for those of you who are asking, well, Psychic Bob, what's your background? I am a full-time professional psychic medium, so this is why I have an office. This is where I work all day and I have people come and see me and have readings. And But you don't have to live near me to have a reading. You know, I do most of my work by telephone these days, so we can do a phone reading or a Skype reading or as well as an in-person reading. So there are a lot of ways to connect with me. And if you want to connect with me, you know, go ahead and call my office, 571 483-2112 is my phone number. I have that below also. Or visit my website, robert-hickman.com, and we'll get you on the schedule for a private reading. Now, private reading is a little more in-depth than what you get here at Messages uh, from the Spear World. So if you have, you know, pressing issues and you need more than I can do here uh, at Messages, you know, you might want to invest in a private reading with me. And, uh, you know, just give me a contact call or contact me. As, as I said, the links will be below. And we'll make that happen because in a, in a private session with me, and some of you watching have had sessions, you know, it's a full hour, you and me one on one, and we cover everything. We go through past, present, future, I identify your spirit guides, I bring over messages from them, I bring over messages from deceased family and friends when they come through. Uh, I look at your life mission, what you're here to do, your life theme. We look at past lives and all those karmic links. As well as all of that, I answer all of your questions. So we cover a lot for the hour. And, uh, you know, I want to say thank you. Thank you, all of you, for taking the time to have a reading. Well, it's time we jump into our letters today. Now, before we do that, let's all just center ourselves. So just get comfortable. Just close your eyes just for a minute. Take a deep breath and release. Just bring in that peace. And let's attune to the spirit world. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. I hear my spirit guide back here, Fletcher. <laughs> He's upset with me today. He said I made him get up early. I said, Fletcher, you never sleep, please. You know, he just likes to rattle my cage. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's jump into our letters here today. Our first letter is from Katie Moore. Hello, Katie. 
And Katie writes this, Dear Psyche Bob, I would like to know the connection with my daughter's grandmother. We are very close. I think of her as my own mother. The other day she said she had a visit from her spirit guide. Her spirit guide was named Katie. I cried when she told me. Thank you lots of love, Katie. Hey, Katie. Well, you know, it's interesting because, you know, when I step into that energy around you and the, the, uh, the daughter, your daughter's grandmother, um, I pick up a soul link connection. And what that means is that you and her are part of a soul group. And soul groups tend to reincarnate uh, together a lot. And I believe your daughter also is part of that soul group. So all three of you are interlinked, as well as the father of your daughter. Um, and I believe also your parents as well. Uh, but what's interesting is that this, uh, this woman around you, she, this uh, grandmother to your daughter, she's been also your own mother in a past life. There was a civil war life where she was actually your mom. And what happened in that life is your husband died uh, in a war. He died in the Civil War. He's in the South. He was down in Georgia. And she took you into her home and cared for you and the kids. You had two children, actually, in that life. And that was a son and a daughter. And I believe there's a son in spirit that's coming to you also. So I think there'll be another child. But that aside, uh, between you two, there's a soul connection because she has been your mother. And it's interesting that her spirit guide is named Katie. Uh, and I think that that's, uh, that spirit guide, it's just coincidence, but I do pick up around that spirit guide, Katie, that she lived in the 1920s. Uh, you might want to ask uh, your, your daughter's grandmother if she saw her or got a sense of that, because she shows me that, that that spirit guide was dressed in 1920s clothes. And I believe that she's also facilitated you two having a strong bond in this life. So there's definitely a soul connection. It goes back over many lifetimes, but one in particular was a civil war where she really took care of you and helped you, okay? So I hope that gives a little insight. Thank you for writing. All right, our next letter is from Shadowlander. And Shadowlander writes this, Hey, Bob, um, what is my animal guide? Also, will I find my familiar soon? Hey, Shadowlander. You know, um, I pick up around you the spirit of a wolf. I believe that in one of your former lives you were Native American and you had a real natural connection to the, to the wolves. And I do pick up the spirit of the wolf as a totem spirit, a guardian animal spirit around you. Now, uh, in terms of finding your familiar, I don't see you actually having a wolf as your actual familiar, but I am picking up a dog that's coming to you. And it may even be like a Siberian Husky. I keep saying thick fur, blue eyes. I think it's a Husky. So it's very similar to a wolf. Uh, but I do see that dog coming to you. It looks like it'll be by the end of the year, around December, that you're going to make a connection. I want you to research uh, animal shelters. I feel like this may be through literally the local city pound or county pound. And that I think you would be able to save this animal uh, animal's life. But it looks like it's a little closer to the end of the year. Go ahead and start looking now. And because I feel like energetically, you and this animal are supposed to connect. And I think that uh, you may not find them right now, but as we go through the, the end of the year, that's where I feel that's going to manifest. Okay. Spirit of the wolves around you. Good questions. Thanks for writing. All right. Our next letter is from Kelly Aldred. That's a nice name. Kelly Aldred. And Kelly Ruth says, Dear Bob, I'm dealing with something difficult. If any advice comes through from spirit, I would appreciate it. Um, is my energy being drained by one or more persons? Let me know if you get anything. Thanks. Hi, Kelly. You know, hon, I have to tell you, um, when I step into your frequency, I'm definitely getting a lot of pink light around you in the R. This definitely does point towards emotional challenges, struggles. So you, you have been being drained. Um, I keep getting this literally around a group of four people. 
Um, there are actually four different people connected. I'm not sure they're all connected, but I get two of them as like family. I almost feel like this is like a family group. I feel like they may be connected to your family who are uh, literally being challenging. I get two females around this. I believe one could be, um, it's like a cousin or a sister and then like a mother figure. It could be grandmother. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm getting two people in your own family that I feel are being kind of judgmental or putting up blocks to you. I'm also getting two other people and I feel like these are kind of I don't want to call them friends. I feel they're more like friends of friends, like acquaintances. And I have to be honest, I hate to say this, but I get a jealousy issue. And I feel like people are trying to interfere with your life path. Uh, I don't know if you you don't say here, but I feel like there could even be some jealousy possibly connected to a relationship. As if you may have a boyfriend or somebody that you have your eye on. And it's like somebody's trying to interfere and just stir up trouble, make blocks for you and romance as well. So you're definitely getting hit from a few sides. One of the things I want you to do is wear black tourmaline. And in fact, if you're close to any of these people and could give them a gift, give them also black tourmaline. Black tourmaline, just give us like a little stone on a pendant because what that does is that will shield you from negative and hostile energy. And if you give it to people, it also shields them from receiving negative energy so they don't act out on you and also lowers their own hostility. So you'll be in a more peaceful place and you'll actually have helped them to achieve peace. Uh, you know, there's that old saying, kill them with kindness, right? Well, that's what you got to do here. You want to kill them with kindness. So don't run from your enemies. Try to, to reach out and give them this black tourmaline crystal and that will help lower their hostility and vibration. Uh, but I am getting it like, you know, I just want to tell you, you're not imagining it. you got four different people connected with this. Uh, I do feel that by the time we're into June, a lot of this is going to dissipate. So don't go on the offensive. Don't go attacking people. Think in terms of kind of maybe a little distance here and working with that crystal black tourmaline. That should start to, excuse me, lessen some of that hostility, okay? I hope that helps a little bit. Thanks for writing. Blessings. <clears throat> All right, our next letter is from Sugar Venom. Sugar Venom writes this, Dear Psychic Bob, um, I'm going through a lot of heartache now because my boyfriend broke up with me last week. Oh. Uh, does Spirit have any messages for me? Thank you and blessings to you. Hi, Sugar Venom. I am so sorry to hear that. That's, that's very hard. It's hard to lose a relationship. Um, I have to say this, and I'm not trying to sound flippant or mean or uncaring, but I think it was for the best. One of the things that I pick up around you is I'm getting a lot of white light and golden light around you. This tells me that right now, you're in a place of self-growth, a lot of high energy for breaking through right now. Uh, I also get yellow light around you, which indicates issues around education. And I feel like as we go through the summer and into the fall, there are going to be a lot of transitions that go on around you. I feel there's going to be some job transitions. I feel there's more money coming in. And there's something with education here as well, like going back to school or picking up further studies. And I feel like right now, I want you to put the focus on you, loving you. Um, I am sad about your boyfriend, but I, I got to be brutally honest here. I feel that he's not ready to grow. You are at his place right now, big growth. And I feel like on another level, he's afraid to see you grow and he's afraid to grow. And this is going to create a conflict. Even if you get back together with him, like let's say next week, you say, Bob, we're back together, I'm still going to caution you because I feel like he has some intransigency in his life where he doesn't want to move forward and it's like he's in a holding pattern. I feel like you're at a place where you're going to have a lot of motion, a lot of movement over the next six months and I don't want you to give up on your focus of your goals, your career, your educational dreams to please him. So 
you know, if you see him trying to say, you know, uh, don't, you know, don't go back to school or don't, you know, change jobs right now or, you know, like he just wants to borrow money from you. I'm not saying he's doing that, but I'm just saying if you see that pattern, you need to be all about you right now. And, and I'm so sorry for your pain. I understand that, that sort of pain. But I want you to be all about you, and that's going to be a breakthrough because I do see more money for you, and I feel June is really the turning point in the money area as well as the career advancement for you, okay? I hope that helps a little bit. Thank you for writing. All right, our next letter is from Mark Wilhelm. Hello, Mark. Mark's a longtime viewer here. And he writes, he says, Dear Psychic Bob, I had a dream last night of a person coming to me in my dream. I believe that it was my father. I'm not sure what he wanted. Can you please tell me what it was that he wanted me to know? Thank you, your friend Mark. Hello, Mark. Good question. Well, let me tell you. Um, I do pick up that it was your father. Um, I keep getting a message here that he was talking about to you about when he wants you to know he's in the light. Okay, he's not earthbound. He has crossed over. But there's also, it looks like there may come up a legal issue around his estate. I get the feeling that there's some paperwork here that's been overlooked. I feel it's connected to maybe some holdings that he had. Could be like stock investment or some finances. I'll be honest, it's not like a fortune. I don't see a million dollars in there. But I see enough money that it's got him concerned. And he's trying to make sure that, one, you're okay. Two, let you know he's okay. And he's talking about some papers. I want you to go back and look. I feel that there's money. I want to call it an adjunct account connected to a bank account that he had. I feel like he had a bank account, maybe a savings account or, you know, IRA. But there's a second account connected to that that may not have been pictured or, like, you know, distributed. I feel like there's still some money there, and that's what he wanted to make sure that you got the money that you're entitled to, okay? So go back to the banks he was with and do another inventory on the accounts. But he's fine, and he's in spirit, and he's with you, and it was him, okay? Thanks for writing. Blessings to you. All right, guys. Well... Now we come to the part of our program, which is the spirit shout outs. Now, spirit shout outs are not necessarily people that have written the questions. Sometimes spirit shout outs are just, you know, I'll see a YouTuber's name flash across my screen and something from spirit comes through and I have to bring it. So uh, anyways, I hope these make some sense to those of you who received them. OK, uh, my first spirit shout out is from uh, or is for, I should say, Monica. Lanciano. Hello, Monica. Uh, listen, I have a message for you. My spirit guide, uh, spirit guides, Fletcher and Rose, both spoke to me this morning. They said, please tell Monica that we were with her in the car last week. So you were traveling. They said they were with you and they drew your attention to the street signs. And that was a message from them that they are with you. Okay. And so they just asked me to bring that over as a confirmation for you that they have been in the car traveling with you, okay? So, anyways, blessings to you. Thanks for being part of my channel. All right, uh, my next spirit challenge is for Son of Sothis. For Sothis. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Forgive me. Son of Sothis. Uh, listen, I have a message for you. Um, the four women that you saw in your vision were angels. They're from the angelic realm. And the angels are working with you now because they're helping you have a stronger connection to the spirit world. Now you have a lot of natural psychic gifts, uh, but they're taking you closer to the spirit world so your mediumship is gonna increase. And so they're there to guard you and protect you, but I get four women and they're very powerful and it's weird because when I see them, they almost look like twin sisters. You know, they, they're standing linked arm in arm and they're saying, we're opening the gate wide for him. We're opening it. So you definitely are being called to further your psychic gifts and definitely mediumship and the four, I come and call them the four sisters. That's what I'm going to call them. Uh, they're your guardian spirits, but they're working with you to connect you to the spirit world and the mediumship. Okay. Thanks for being part of my channel.
All right, uh, I got another message here for loving life. And um, loving life, I received a communication this morning uh, from a man claiming to be your father. And he says, tell them that I'm in the light. He wants you to know that he is in the light. And he says that he has visited you every night for the last two weeks. And he says that he's been trying to speak to you, though it doesn't sound like, you, like he's been able to get through to you audibly, but he said he's whispering. You might hear it as a whisper. And also, he keeps rapping. So he's rapping on the walls or on furniture. Right? I hear rapping sounds around him just to get your attention. So when you're in bed, I want you, that's because he comes at night to when you're in his calm so he can connect with you. Listen for raps, literal, very clear raps. And also, he's going to try to speak. You may hear a little like a whispering. If his power gets strong enough, you may be able to manifest a voice. Uh, but he is with you, and he's visiting you every night for the last two weeks. Okay. Anyways, hope that makes some sense to you. Thanks for being here. Blessings to you. Oh, my gosh, guys. Well, listen, I don't know where the time goes, but that's all the time I've got today for messages. Um, listen, if you want to connect with me, definitely visit my website. Also, we have over there a bookstore, and you can pick up my books. So go there. You'll see a tab. You can get messages from Rose over there. A lot of you have bought that. Like the When Worlds Unite is over there. Ouija Mysteries, Psyche Bob's Book of Wicked Wisdom, all these writings. And so you can purchase those at my bookstore if you want to learn a little bit more about me and my work. And in the meantime, you know, uh, make sure to be here at Spirit Channel. Hit subscribe. We'll be back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, Wicked Wednesday. We'll have something fun and mystical, so make sure to be here. And if you haven't seen your horoscopes from yesterday, go get those as well. And on Saturday night, you know, we had the witching hour, or Sunday night, excuse me, Sunday night, we had the witching hour. So if you didn't see that, check that out. So you got some catch up to do if you've been tied up this weekend, the last few days. But I'm so glad you're here. Listen, thank you. I love you guys. Thanks for being part of Spirit Channel. Keep it here. we got more coming. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Wicked Wednesday, as I said. And until then, may you always, blessed be.